Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of classifying two-dimensional shapes. This is standard 5.5a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 26 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a Venn diagram. We've got a little overlapping part right here that we're looking at. That's the shaded area that belongs to both circles. And they don't name any of these shapes. But we can go ahead and do that. And you notice the shape that we're looking for needs to belong to both circles. needs to be in that shaded section or both ovals, actually. They're not circles. But you notice what we have here is in this left oval, we have rectangles. And the reason they are rectangles, we know, is because uh, it looks like both of these are going to be quadrilaterals. And actually, I'm going to drill that down a little bit right here. It looks like both of these are parallelograms. Now, how do we know that? Well, because everything within a parallelogram, let me go and write that over here. It is a quadrilateral. All parallelograms are quadrilateral. That means they have four sides. And they've got two pairs of parallel sides. And so if we take a look at our rectangles, you'll see that the top and the bottom are parallel, right there, and the side and the side are parallel. Parallel lines, remember, are lines that uh, continue forever without touching. They, they never intersect. They just run the same distance apart. So these are rectangles. But I think what they're really wanting us to see here, or take a look at these little squares. So that means that parallelograms contain rectangles. And let's just take a look to see what rectangles are. So this is my parallelogram here. My rectangle is a type of parallelogram. That means it has four sides. That means it has two pairs of parallel sides. But it has four right angles. Right angles are 90 degrees. They create perpendicular lines. So all rectangles have four right angles. So whatever goes in here needs to have four right angles. And then over here, these look like rhombuses. So what do I know about a rhombus? A rhombus is a parallelogram. That means it's got two pairs of parallel sides. Look at the top and the bottom are parallel. The side and the side are parallel. But you see these little marks that I'm drawing over? Those have to do with side length. And that means that all of these have the exact same side. Rhombus has four equal side lengths. Four equal side lengths. Sometimes we'll call a rhombus a diamond, but that's not an actual shape name. So what happens here in the middle needs to have four right angles and, I'm going to kind of draw down here, I'm out of room, four equal sides. Four equal side lengths plus four right angles. Well, a rectangle is definitely not going to work because it does have four right angles. It does not have four equal sides, so we're not going to look at that. Rhombus is not going to work because it has only one of the two. It has four equal sides, but not four uh, right angles. None of the angles here are right angles. A square. Let's see if I can draw a square. Let me just draw that right here. So if I draw a square, does it have four right angles? Yes, it does. Does it have four lengths that are the exact same size? Yes. So I'm thinking a square is going to fit right here, but let's just double check. I've got my trapezoid. Now, look at this trapezoid right here. Trapezoid isn't even a parallelogram. It's only got one set of parallel sides. These two slanted ones aren't. So it doesn't fit anywhere. It doesn't have four right angles. doesn't have four equal side lengths. My answer is H.